from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors. Presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we meet up with Wade Middleton as he revisits a pond site he hunted last year with the hopes of encountering a magnificent whitetail buck who just narrowly got away. But first, we're joining Performance Center's Tony Mealy at the Wild Country Outfitters Ranch in northern Utah as he takes on his first elk hunt. I was in Utah here hunting the same ranch last year. They've got a lot of great animals on it, and you know, there's probably not a better elk herd in the area uh, than, this, than this herd that's right here. So opening morning, we get to the area we're gonna hunt, uh, get out of the truck, first thing we hear is bugling, and I mean, it's like they are tearing up the airwaves out there. It's unbelievable. David knew the area real well. Uh, you know, he's hunted it lots of times before. He knew where he wanted to go. He, he said, what we gotta do is get the wind in our favor. We're gonna jump off this embankment and go down, get to the bottom. So that we can circle in and, and really start looking and picking apart every animal to make sure it's the right animal for us. We had a couple of cows come up into the field there, looking right at us. I mean, you know, they, they didn't know what, they couldn't get our scent. They really didn't know what we were. They weren't spooked at all. Dave uh, called a couple cow calls, you know, calm them down, and that's what they did. They just milled around for a little while. Wasn't long after that, the first bull comes in. Wasn't an old enough bull to take, but we did have a good time with him. You know, Dave called to him, cow called to him a few times, and the guy just come right up to us. Could have been more than, I'll bet you, I don't know, 40 yards. So we worked our way a little bit more to the right and, and down to the bottom of the canyon, and we came across this five by six, and he's just tearing up a tree. We looked at him, beautiful bull, perfect age category as well. Tony decided that he would pass at that time, which is wonderful. He wants a, a six by six, and we're gonna please that. I'll tell you what, it's a really good day today. A lot of encounters this morning. The weather's perfect, couldn't ask for anything better. We started out this morning, we had bulls right here on the ridge. We did the right thing, we just watched them, we didn't bump them, and then we found plenty of elk to look at. Yeah, probably took about a 20 mile hike today. You got, you got your exercise, that's for sure. Yeah, let's go back, <laughs> we'll grab a bite and get ready for, for a second shift. Sounds good. While well, Tony and David head back to the Wild Country Outfitters Ranch for lunch, let's learn more about the Performance Center M&P 10 and 6.5 Creedmoor rifle that Tony's using for today's hunt. Hi, this is the Performance Center M&P 10 and 6.5 Creedmoor. I'd like to talk about some of the features of this rifle. It's got a heavy barrel, 20 inch, Troy, free float, four end. It's got a Magpul buttstock as well as a Magpul grip. It's got a Performance Center two-stage trigger in it, Picatinny rail, and on the end of it, it's got a Gemtech suppressor. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about suppression. You know, hearing safe is rated at 140 decimals. This particular unit gets you down to about 138. Overall length, a little over eight and three quarters. Diameter is about an inch and a half. Five by 24 direct thread, 14 and a half ounces weight. You know, more and more people spending time in their range as well as hunting really appreciate the fact that you can shoot suppressed. 48 states in the union right now allow suppressors to be used. If you're out hunting, it doesn't interfere with all the other game animals. If you're on the range, it's just that much more comfortable for you while you're out shooting. You might want to think about shooting suppressed in the future. Coming up, Tony and David decide to switch up their game plan for the afternoon portion of their hunt. Stay tuned and find out if they're able to harvest one of these beautiful Utah elks. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot? 
with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. So Dave decided in the afternoon we're going to a little bit different game plan. He's got another area he wants to take us to. Uh, we're going to set up on a ridge, really glass that ridge, uh, listen to calls, try to get some looks at, at some animals, and then we'll try to set up on something if we come across it. A couple cows come through with a calf. They walk their way up and into the woods. Saw a smaller bull come out on the top, and he starts working his way down towards the water. At first, you know, it looked like a pretty good animal, but Dave said, nah, it's just a little bit too young and that's not something we're gonna be able to take. And next thing we know, we see up, we look up, we, we still got this small bull, he's down in the water drinking, and this larger bull starts working his way out and Dave says right away, hey, this is something we ought to take a good look at. He's a good bull. You want him, you want him? He's a good bull. Yeah. You, you wanna look through the scope on him or you wanna? Why do it from 300 when you can do it from 200? So we moved our way down you know, to our right a little bit. We want to just get a little bit better set up on this, this animal. Probably 168, 170 yards at that point. This is our guy right here. I just want to give him a little bit out of that bush because I got right the vitals and cover with sticks in. I'm going to call him and see if I can pull him out to look, OK? The animal would turn around, look up at us. He's interested in see where this cow is. I want to get a good opportunity on the animal, but we also want to make sure the animal's treated fairly too. He's just got his, his the vitals are buried into that yeah. stick stuff's here. Still just can't get a shot, and he decides, well, it's time to mosey on back to the woods, and that's just the direction he headed. We figure it's only a matter of time. He's calling the yardage out. He's at 200, he's at 220, he's at 300, and he just keeps walking. 357 going away. Dang. That was awesome though. I just didn't want to take that quarter inch shot like that. Good call. And Tony and I just kind of had a little sigh like, whoa, is that it? But not to be discouraged. There's a lot of elk in the area. They're still bugling and carrying on. We decided to be patient and see what else transpired and what else came to water. So it wasn't long after. We got another bull coming in. We're taking a look at that. Guess what? Too young, too small, just not gonna happen. Gives us a great shot opportunity. If that could have just happened with the big one, things would have been a lot better. As we're watching the younger bull, I look up and see another bull coming back down the chute. Tony's coming in. That's our same bull. That's the bull. Range? 178 right there. When Dave says the bull is back, I'm thinking to myself, the odds against this happening again is just you know, astronomical. It's probably a half an hour later, he's walking right back down into the water. This time, things are a lot different because the way he's working in, he's gonna take that turn into the water and we know we're gonna get a vital shot. Okay, can you stop him? Nice hit. That is a heck of a bull. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Beautiful. I feel elated. I mean, you know, it couldn't have gone better. A great shot, great broadside shot. That's, that's just what you want to do. Like I said, you know, you want to take an ethical shot. And he presented a beautiful shot for us, and that's what we did. Oof. He is a monster, huh? Yes, sir. -y. And that's what it's all about. Man, I'll tell you what, I couldn't be more excited. This was really great. Came in, came in the first time. We really couldn't get the shot I wanted, so I passed on it. And uh, I don't think it was half an hour later he came back. And he's beautiful. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better animal. Well done. Well, thank you, sir. You're welcome.
It's been a pleasure to get to know Tony and to understand his ethic. Treat the animal with the utmost respect. Make sure the shot is ethical. Make sure it's a beautiful shot that the animal doesn't suffer. You know, I've hunted a lot of different animals, you know, Africa, game in the, in the United States, deer, mule deer, whitetail, but elk, that's just the, the pinnacle of, of hunting, really. If you ever have the opportunity to do it, that's what you really want to do. This was a great hunt, a lot of animals. If you get the opportunity, get out and do it. A well-deserved congratulations to Tony Mealy. Well, up next, we're joining Wade Middleton as he sets his sights on the one that got away. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine. And next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles, Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense, high-vis shooting systems, see what you've been missing, Stealth Cam digital scouting cameras, proven. Well, before we make our way out to the field, let's hear what Wade has to say about the TC Compass rifle he'll be using for today's hunt. You know, the Thompson Center Compass Rifle, what a phenomenally accurate rifle that's very durable, built to last, that's not going to break the bank. And, and that's primarily one of the biggest things I think Thompson Center had in mind when they launched the Compass Rifle. When I talk to people nationwide, one of the most common conversations we have is, you know, I just want a good, accurate, whitetail hunting rifle. It's not going to break the bank. It's going to be able to perform in durable and rough conditions. I don't have to worry about scratching the stock or, or you know, damaging it, climbing in and out of the stand. It's just a, it's a workhorse. It's a hammer while it's out in the field. And I look at the Compass Rifle as, as that type of a rifle. You know, the Compass Rifle comes in a wide range of calibers. Uh, so that a guy, you know, whether he's varmint hunting or getting a kid or a young lady involved in hunting, all the way up to big game hunting in, in Africa or North America somewhere, they're going to have the calibers they need to be able to perform. It's got a detachable magazine that's easy to use. You've got a three position safety. The bolt is, is perfectly aligned to be able to work it in those situations for a quick follow up. It's threaded if a person wants to put a suppressor on there. Easy to mount a scope to incredibly durable, not to mention the most important thing out of the box, it's going to be accurate at that moment of truth, whether you're knocking down a doe for the freezer or shooting at the buck of a lifetime. We're out in San Saba County, Texas. Wade is returning to a pond site where he encountered an enormous 10-point whitetail last year, determined to cross paths with him once again. I love water of all sorts. I mean, I love to fish as much as I do hunt, so I'm always drawn to the water. So when I can combine the two together and, and hunt near a water source, it doesn't matter if it's just an old crawdad mud hole or a beautiful stream or uh, you know a pond or a lake edge, I just, those are some of my most memorable hunts for some reason. And, and I guess it's gotta be because of that love of the water. You know, there's just so many game species that are, that are gonna show up around a water hole. This is always one of my favorite times of the day, going out, getting ready to go to a stand, the anticipation's high. Got an early morning rifle hunt here on a really neat pond. I, I've hunted this pond before uh, and had an encounter that's been ingrained in my mind for a long time. I mean, an absolute giant came in and kind of got out of there, couldn't get a shot, ran up a hill, ran off to the right, and uh, I had always hope to have a chance to get back on this deer again and it looks like we're going to have that chance for the next few days to sit down here on this pond there's a couple of deer running off there and uh, see if we can't get him in i'm going to be hunting one of the most legendary cartridges in the world i'm going to use the 30-06 
you know, the 30 out six, it uh, may not sound as sexy as it used to be, but you know, the 30 out six has probably killed more deer and big game animals than about any cartridge around. I'm gonna be shooting it out of the Thompson Center Compass, which is a great rifle, price point rifle that every day hunters across the nation can pick up and use. And uh, we're gonna sit down on this pond and get pretty comfortable, let the sun come up and let the deer tell us the rest of the story. When you're hunting in the mornings, every minute is in your favor. When you're hunting in the evening, every minute that goes away, you're, you're losing ground. You're losing that ability to, to see. This being a morning hunt, I'm literally watching my watch thinking, okay, I'm gonna be able to see a little more. I'm gonna be able to see a little more and what's coming on the sides of us. And you can just see these deer out there as shapes moving around. Every now and then I can definitely make out a big rack. You've got all the different sounds, you know, on, on that particular deal. I mean, there's bass feeding on the on the shallows in the grass. You can hear the frogs, uh, you know, the, the hum of the mosquitoes, the beginning of the sounds of the first birds chirping, uh, you know, deer walking through there. You can hear some snort wheezes. You can hear some grunting going on. Heard a little tussling off to the side. You know, if that to me, whether you shoot one or don't shoot one, that's the coolest part of, of getting up at, you know, 4.30 in the morning and riding out to the stand is just hearing that and watching nature wake up. While the sun continues to rise on this chilly morning, will our elusive buck make his return to the watering hole or will he continue to evade Wade? <laughs> Stay tuned. Feed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter aero trajectory, resulting in knock-breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from 10 Point. The thing about public land is that most people hunt the same old beaten path. The thing about you is, you're not most folks. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gunmaker. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. Walkers, protect it or lose it. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. The sun has finally risen, lighting up the area, and those dark shapes are now easily identifiable deer. Wade hopes to see the buck he's been waiting for. I mean, smoke that That is a giant. I saw that deer last year when I was in here. And he walked out of my life up that hill. And he got down right here this morning. We could see him and there's several deer feeding on the side of this hill. <sighs> By this pond, I mean, that's a giant right there. 
And the same thing last year, he got down around that pond, something spooked him, they all took off, run off. And, but this time he came back this way instead of going out and I had to take him kind of walking out across there. I mean, he got in that little valley right there walking the whole time and I knew this gun here. I mean, we've hauled it to New Zealand, we've hauled them around Texas, we've hauled them to many places. And I mean, they just shoot great. 30-06 was the caliber today and we're fixing to go put our hands on an old giant right there. Woo! Give me some rusty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man as i kind of look back on the hunt right now i bet i shot that deer probably within 20 yards of where i shot the deer the year before the deer i shot the year before was just up and slightly to the left of where that one uh, was taken at so that pond that little area you talk about special memories and good times and, and a history i don't think it gets much better than that this pond's been good to me. Full of fish, fun to sit there and watch them. Look at them swimming away from the bank right now. Now I'm wanting to speed up. I can see antlers from here. We all know he's down. Look at that. That's a thing of art right there. <laughs> that is beautiful right there. Look at this. Oh, he's even got a little kicker. Gil. I mean, that'll leave you speechless. I mean, look at those brow tines. I mean, that may be the longest brow tines of any deer I've ever shot right there. I mean, that brow tine is huge. I mean, look at those twos and the threes, the way they curve in. He's got mass all the way around. Kind of crab claws in on that side. <laughs> when you shoot deer like this, you end up being a little speechless at the end. You just kind of look at them and go, wow. I mean, those bases, I mean, I can't even get my fingers all the way around them. Holds it out to there. We got in here this morning to set up, and you could see several deer out there just kind of milling around, and, you know, really well before we obviously could even legally shoot. You could see their shapes, and there was another really nice tin and several other deer. You could hear them snort wheezing. There was fighting going on, and when they do that, you know, they'll get to running around and spooking out of the area and changing position, and I just literally spent time looking at the ground, then I'd look up through my binoculars waiting for it to get daylight, and they got to running, chasing, and fighting, and next thing you know, they all kind of cleared out. There's probably a dozen deer in there, and then he came back down the side of that hill and just kind of kept walking and was working towards this little oak mot. And I knew this little ditch was right here from last year and when he stepped up, I mean, he just gave me everything you could ever, ever want. Perfectly broadside, just right across the pond, squeeze the trigger, I'm shooting the TC Compass with a 30 6 a Cabela's HD Instinct scope on there. I mean, everything's lit up perfect and the end result was dead right there of a giant buck. Well, after an exciting morning, Wade has come out victorious after dreaming about this massive buck for the last year. And that certainly is one beautiful 10-point Texas whitetail. The serenity of hunting across a pond reflects how rewarding it can be to get back to the basics. Well, as we wrap up and make our way back to home base, Wade has a few more thoughts on what he enjoys most about hunting, the legendary whitetail deer. White-tailed deer are so cool because they have such different characteristics. Every one of them is different. Every year they're different. Sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller. Sometimes they get some funky points. Sometimes they, you know, are just as traditional as can be. That's why I think, you know, white are, you know, North America's the most sought after game animal. I would argue that point for days just because you can hunt them in so many different ways, means, methods, and manners, and states, and locations, and they're all so cool. They've all got a unique character. They've all got a unique, uh, attitude to them. This particular buck is, is, I love these kind of deer where their tines are chocolate and they curve in. I mean, uh, what a buck, just uh, what a buck. Not only to fill the freezer, but to hang on the wall. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production.
for precise prescription eyewear. Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing but precise. Because precision is everything. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by StealthCam. Proven. Approximately 30,000 cases of Lyme disease happen each year in the United States. The main culprit, ticks. Stop and kill ticks in the outdoors with Sawyer's permethrin insect repellents. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Protect it or lose it. 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 Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. <laughs>